Lot number 118 is a 2011 Ford Explorer. This one has 96,000 miles. It's got the 3.5 liter V6. The motor sounds good. I've had it running well over an hour. It idles smooth, revs up nice. It has not overheated. And the AC, both front and rear AC, blow cold. I'm gonna rev it up so you can hear it. This one has the 3.5 liter V6. The motor revs up nice, sounds very responsive, and it idles smooth. Body is straight. This is not a police package vehicle. This is a regular Explorer. It's got carpet throughout. It's got nice cloth interior. It's a basic model. Comes with hubcaps. Four matching hubcaps. Tires look good. Headlights are a little dull. It's got tinted windows. The paint looks good got very minor dents and scratches it shows normal wear and tear but overall it's a good looking car cargo door has a little scratch right there took the paint but other than that I mean the car just shows normal wear and tear no major damage anywhere Tires look good, it's got the tinted windows, the interior looks good, it will need a good cleaning inside. All the door panels are in place and appear to be in good shape. The rug is not torn on the driver's side. The steering wheel shows a little bit of wear, but still looks very nice. Driver's seat is torn, it's got very small holes here. Mostly just looks dirty. Passenger seat looks dirty. This will need a good cleaning, but it's gonna clean up nice. It's a nice color interior. The radio bezel has a couple of screw holes from the emergency equipment that's already been removed. Got a couple on that side and a couple on this side. Here are the miles, 96,000 miles, just under 100. Headliner looks good, but there are a couple of screw holes back there from emergency lights that were removed. Rear seat is in great shape, just needs a good cleaning. Rear AC is blowing ice cold. No third row seat included here, and it may be missing some kind of cover on the floor unless it's supposed to sink down like this. Feels wet back here. Yeah, there's water where the spare tire goes. There's water accumulated, so water is getting in through somewhere. The headliner has a couple of screw holes back here from emergency lights that were removed. It's solid. Unless there's a hole in the roof, I can't imagine where the water's coming in by. But right there where the spare tire goes, there's water accumulated, a lot of it. I guess there's a holes up here for antennas, maybe. Yeah, this is the only hole aftermarket that I see here. So I can't imagine where that water's coming in by. The roof looks solid. 
that's the factory antenna and this would be an aftermarket police radio antenna unless the water's coming in through there maybe one of the maybe that back door wasn't closed right I don't see any water marks anywhere else along the car only accumulated back there good looking interior all right okay there's a couple of screw holes right there on the side as well all right there you have it it's a 2011 ford explorer it's not a police package it's a regular explorer it's got the four matching hubcaps tires look good the motor sounds good it's been running for over an hour has not overheated idle smooth revs up nice cold ac in the front and in the rear it's lot number 118 good luck